are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 20th of August. I'm James Spann. Alabama's rain chances will stay rather elevated for a few days. And, of course, the tropics are of great interest, as typically is the case this time of the year. So let's dive in. A lot of things to talk about this morning. First off, the upper air pattern. That big old nasty heat bubble continues back in the western states, centered over the southwest, not quite as intense today. And we have broad troughing here across the southeastern states. That was the radar early this morning at the insane hour of 448. Had some pretty loud thunderstorms just offshore off the Gulf Coast. A lot of folks are watching the lightning show in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach and Destin this morning. But the northern half of the state fairly quiet. Upper 60s, low 70s to start the day. Highs only in the 80s today because of clouds and showers. Still got uh, excessive heat warnings for some of the southwestern states. The east is quiet. Strong storms, though, will likely form uh, later today across parts of the southeast. We have all 67 Alabama counties in a marginal risk of severe weather later today. The main threat coming from strong straight-line winds. And really the same thing tomorrow. A marginal risk for the southeast, including all of Alabama. So two days in a row with a marginal risk. Storms that do form tomorrow could produce strong straight-line winds and maybe some small hail. That'll be the main threat. And then on day three, which is Saturday, no organized severe weather expected. But a couple of showers and thunderstorms are likely. This is the rain for the next five days. The southeast, again, relatively wet. Rain amounts one half to one inch. And uh, this is through Tuesday morning. And beyond that, it will all depend on the tropics. And uh, we'll talk about that right now. This is the current situation. First off, there is a wave coming off the coast of Africa. We have newly formed TD-13 in the Atlantic, and we have a wave in the Caribbean. Uh, again, this is the two-day outlook. This is the five-day outlook, that wave in the Caribbean with a high chance of developing into a depression or storm within five days, and the wave coming off the coast of Africa with a medium chance of developing. Of course, that thing's way out there. First off, let's talk about uh, TD-13. So we have a forecast track from the Hurricane Center. And they keep this at tropical storm strength all the way through the next five days. Uh, they bring it just north of Hispaniola, then coming up toward the Florida Keys and into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, south of Tampa Bay by Monday night of next week is an upper end tropical storm. And understand there is great uncertainty here. This forecast can and probably will change. Um, could be stronger than that. If there's greater interaction with land, it might be weaker than what they're forecasting right now. And there's also dry air just north of the system. We'll just see how it uh, kind of runs the gamut through there over the next five days. This is modeling on TD-13. And again, the models are tightly clustered in good agreement with the NHC track. And the ensemble output, uh, again, just great spread. Everything from Mexico to recurving east of Florida. Uh, it is way too early to know what, if any, impact this will have on Alabama or the central Gulf Coast, but it certainly bears watching. Uh, this is the intensity guidance, and again, you can see that uh, you've got a couple of outliers that ramp this thing up to a major hurricane in five days, uh, but most do not. So let's look now at our system in the Caribbean. This is Invest 97. And we're starting to see a little better agreement in the short term. This thing probably will be coming over the Yucatan uh, and then getting into the southwest Gulf of Mexico. Of course, it will weaken over land and strengthen back over the southwestern Gulf. And what happens from there? Well, uh, it might wind up in Mexico or it could turn north and come right up toward the central Gulf Coast. Again, we stress it is too early to know what impact, if any, this will have on Alabama or the central Gulf Coast. Uh, so, again, you've got TD-13 and Invest 97, both with a potential threat to the Gulf Coast next week. But, again, it could wind up in Mexico uh, or some other place. By the weekend, we'll have, obviously, much better clarity on these. Uh, and, of course, look, everybody on the Gulf Coast should be prepared anyway for a hurricane this time of the year. This is the peak of the hurricane season, August and September. And here's the... Um, Intensity guidance for 97, 
mostly a tropical storm strength over the next five days. And again, it's probably going to take a hit once it goes over the Yucatan. So let's go look at the GFS here. This is the 06 C run at 4 o'clock. Pretty good trough around here. And again, that's going to make the air unstable. So showers and storms are likely later today. They could be strong. You saw that marginal risk. Highs mid to upper 80s. And the same thing tomorrow. Scattered to numerous showers and storms. A lot of clouds around. Highs mid 80s. And really not much change for Saturday. Mid 80s. A few showers and thunderstorms are likely. And even on Sunday now, the uh, models have trended wetter. A mix of sun and clouds with a few showers and thunderstorms likely. Highs mid to upper 80s. This is Monday. Scattered showers and storms. Partially sunny. Upper 80s. Here's Tuesday. Very deep moisture in place. Wednesday becomes a tropical system toward the Louisiana coast. And we're not a big fan of, you know, looking at just purely deterministic data like this. You want to look at the ensemble output for the range of possibilities. This is just one of them. And then a week from today, Thursday the 27th, Flat Ridge and the GFS brings a tropical system into Louisiana, and we would be on the wet side, the uh, east side of that, if this happens to verify. And again, it, I guarantee you that's going to change. Just for the fun of it, we'll take a look at the European for Thursday, and it shows nothing. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 29th. A little trough around, and again, the number of showers and thunderstorms are likely. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean between 2 and 3 inches for the next 15 days, but this number could vary greatly with the tropical systems potentially involved. Highs mid to upper 80s through Monday, then around 90 for the rest of next week, and that's not bad for late August. In the CPC outlook, this is August 27th through September 2nd, showing temperatures here could be a little above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.